family photos pretty important right and if your wife is anything like mine she takes a lot of family photos am I right mm -hmm. like okay long story short she has a Samsung S what it's S8 and she has a whole ton of gigs she has like a 256 gig card and she fills it up with photos and videos a lot of the kids of the kids of course like I mean who doesn't want to take a lot of photos of that guy over there that's my little man cash right there and my baby girl sky sleeping back there but regardless of the fact we got a lot of family photos a lot of family videos and we don't want to lose those family photos and family videos because we actually already have once and yes. I, I got in a lot of trouble well it wasn't my fault we got a virus on the computer but whatever that's a long story but regardless of the fact we don't want to lose those things because they're so important and it's one of those things like you put them and you download them onto your computer onto a hard drive and you say you know what there's, there's a good chance that you don't lose them. There's a good chance the hard drive doesn't die and you're okay. But what if it does? What if your hard drive does die and you lose all those things? Then you're kind of screwed, right? So what's the next best thing? I guess you pay for one of these cloud services and you put all your photos and your videos on that. And But then you're stuck paying for like a subscription for a very long time. For the rest of your life, I, I guess, right? The more photos and videos you, you take, then the more space you're gonna need, the more cloud service you're gonna need, and it gets pretty expensive. I was looking at prices of Dropbox, and OneDrive, and Amazon Drive, and all these things, and it, it gets expensive. So I was talking to some buddies of, my mind, of mine, and I think I'm gonna go with just like a local cloud solution, and you can pretty much have your own cloud, you can create it in your home uh, with a NAS drive. I'm not like, I'm, I'm not like, like horrible with computers, but I'm definitely not a computer expert. But, yes? See, but my seatbelt is on, man. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, um, we are heading to the computer store right now because it is still a uh, boxing day. After Christmas is the boxing sales. And I think I know what I want. I'm going to go get the uh, 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 NAS system. I think it's NAS or NAS. I don't exactly know what it's called. But I'm going to go get that and we're going to pick it up and see if we can get it installed and uh, yeah, get our get our hard drive space right at home so we can cut, start keeping all our family content nice and secure on our way to the computer store. Let's go. gonna help with the video let's let them know what this is so so this is the Synology DS918 plus this is what we went with this is supposed to be a cloud storage solution for my home so what we got this for is to back up our family videos our family photos um, and to keep them safe because we could do that and we could put it onto the computer and put it onto a hard drive just a normal hard drive but if that hard drive were to fail we lose everything and it's already happened to us once and we lost a lot of photos and like I said in the hey catch try not to touch the camera my guy <laughs> uh, it already happened to us once and like I said in the car I got in a bit of trouble yeah tell him tell him tell him hi so um, we went with this because it's supposed to be simple to use how it works is uh, it holds four hard drives and we back up our data like you would on a normal hard drive, but because there's a few hard drives in it, it always makes sure that there's a backup copy of your files. So um, this is how we're using it. I, I'm pretty sure it does a lot of other things, and I, I know it does a lot of other things, but this is what we're using it for, just pretty much um, to back up our storage. And um, so once you put put your files on there, it always makes sure there's a backup. And uh, so if a hard drive were to fail, then it's gonna let you know and you pull it out and you put a new one in and then I don't know exactly all the technical stuff of how it works but it's, it's supposed to work and went with this one because it's supposed to be easy and I don't know I was gonna ask my techie friends to come uh, help me set it up but I don't know I, I think I'm gonna try it myself and you saw the price tag it was a little bit pricey but I don't know I was looking at other solutions like like Dropbox and, and all these other things online but from what I saw, there were like a few hundred a year. 
And if I went that route, then I was going to get locked into that for who knows how long. Because we were just going to keep uploading photos, uploading videos, because that's not going to stop, clearly. Um, so I don't know, I just figured I'd, I'd rather just spend the money, get one thing one time, and then I have a solution for us and I can upgrade if I need to. Man, you almost smashed the camera cache. Jeez! <laughs> so yeah, let's set it up, let's see if we can get it happen, we, we can make it happen. You got anything to say? Don't destroy the camera. <laughs> this could be so hard with kids. <laughs> ah! Okay, so honestly, that was uh, pretty easy. No, 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 it was really easy. It was so easy, I was trying to make it difficult. Um, but I literally couldn't. I had it set up in just a few minutes. Like, the wizard had me go through it in like a breeze. And even with the wife, you know, this is what we got it for. She's taking pictures of the kids, and now when she takes a picture, it gets uploaded automatically to the computer. It's saved. I can't get in trouble. I can't get in trouble, right? No. Can't get in trouble, because we'll never lose a photo. Like, shout out to Synology for making something so user friendly and so easy to use, really. And I know it was a thousand dollars, and that is a fair bit of money, but you can also get like just a two bay one, and it'll be less expensive, or you can get smaller high drives, or you can even get <laughs> go way more expensive and get an eight bay or 12 bay, I think, and get bigger hard drives. But regardless, compared to buying online storage um, for one of these services I'm saving money for sure 100% and it was even so simple when it came to actually setting up the wife's phone <laughs> take a picture see that picture saved now forever we can't lose it <laughs> but um, even when it came to saving the wife's or setting up the wife's phone to automatically upload the pictures it was literally a breeze so easy to use and yo shout out to Synology Super cool. yeah exactly so anyways, um, yeah, we just wanted to share this and uh, hopefully somebody else, if you have the same problem, <laughs> men out there, if you're getting yelled at because your hard drive got a virus or something and you lost family photos, now you know what to do. Ah, are you pushing daddy? Yes, you are. <laughs> we'll see you next time.